a tort case, uh, the Estella versus McDonald's Corporation. The facts, a tort is described as a product that has an inherent defect and causes damages. The plaintiff claims that she was damaged in this suit and that the defendant is liable. The plaintiff, Stella Leibig, purchased a cup of coffee through a drive-in window at McDonald's located at Albuquerque in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The coffee was spilled on the plaintiff's lap and burned her, and she burned herself. She sued McDonald's and was initially awarded $160,000 for medical expenses and also awarded $2.86 million in punitive damages. This amount was later reduced by the trial judge to an amount that was more reasonable. It was reduced to $640,000. The plaintiff and the, the dependent, however, confidentially settled out of court before it even reached an appeal. Now, the main issue, the main issue to consider is this. Is or was McDonald's liable for the plaintiffs because they served the coffee at a temperature that would be considered unreasonably hot, dangerously hot? The coffee was served at approximately 179 degrees, which is pretty much the standard for coffee. There is no value in selling cold coffee because the customers want the co their coffee hot. Whether cups, lids, or manufactured with a defect? No, they weren't. The cups were fine until the plaintiff opened the lids to add cream and, cream and sugar. Should there be an inherent risk? Any person who has had a cup of coffee is or should know that it is hot and it should take the necessary precautions. So, the question is, were both parties at fault? McDonald's did not serve the coffee at a temperature that was any hotter than any other fast food restaurant located in that area. The court decision and the conclusion. The initial court decision held that McDonald was liable for the plaintiff's burns. The court awarded the plaintiff the $160,000 we spoke of earlier for her medical expenses. In addition, the court also awarded another $2.86 million in punitive damages. Of course, this amount was later reduced by the trial judge to an amount of $640,000. However, the plaintiff and the defendant settled confidentially out of the court before it reached an appeal. Holding and rule of law. Judge Frank Easterbrook wrote an opinion and affirmed the dismissal of the following case of the following cases, which held that the temperature of coffee at high degrees is expected by the consumers. When they buy a cup of coffee, they expect it to be hot. Coffee smells and tastes better when hot and is of no value to the uh, consumer at warm temperatures. And that coffee at 179 degrees was not reasonably dangerous. This reasoning was confirmed in the case of McMahon versus Bunomatic. Bunomatic won the case where hot coffee burned a customer similar to the Libex case. Another court decision was at Bogle versus McDonald's Restaurants LTD. Judge Field also held that the coffee served at temperatures of 150 degrees was extraordinarily sensible and that having to serve coffee at 55 degrees or, or colder is not reasonable. The court found that McDonald's was not liable for the plaintiff's burns. Another similar case that the, the Judge Fields didn't talk about was Core versus Starbucks, which was a, a, a police officer that, that, that sued Starbucks. The court found that he was, that Starbucks was not uh, uh, liable for it. Now, rational analysis. I think that it just takes a little common sense to know that the customers expect their coffee hot. And McDonald's, of course, expects their customers to be careful with it for the same reason. I don't think any company sets out to maliciously hurt their customers. However, however accidents happen and compensation should be just and reasonable. The jury damages cost to cover the medical expenses and compensatory damages was acceptable, but to punish McDonald's with the, with the two point 
seven million dollars in punitive damages I feel is unjust I believe there should be a limit in punitive damages I'm glad that they eventually settled the case out of court